God never planned for man to rule man. Uh -uh. He said, let them have. All of us are supposed to be in authority over the planet. That's God's plan. It was after the fall of man that human government came into place at the fall of Babylon. Before Babylon fell, everybody worked together as a corporate team. There were, nobody was over another. It was a corporate operation. It was the fall of Babylon that split languages that brought about human government. It is not the plan of God. So that's why when we are praying that the church will take over government, it's a stupid prayer. Because the church cannot take over government. Because the government of this world is not the government of God. I'm not hearing your amen. I'm going to show you. The first man that introduced government to this world is in Genesis 10:25. And unto Eba were born two sons. The name of one was Peleg. For in his days was the earth divided. In the days of Peleg was the earth divided. The word divide there means organized. In the days of Peleg, that is where human government started from. In the days of Peleg, the earth was organized. And the word divided means to put boundaries. It was in the days of Peleg that there was boundary between one town and another town and another town and another town. Everything became organized. It was from the days of Peleg it started. And that is why Jesus and the apostles called the kings of the world princes of the world and when it was time to call satan they call him the prince of this world so there is the prince of this world there are the princes of this world herod Pilate. they were princes of this world that's human government man was never to rule over another man matthew 20 20 look at what jesus said about this then came to him the mother of zebedee's children with her sons worshiping him and desiring a certain thing of him look at the next verse and he said unto her what will thou she said unto him grant that this my two sons may sit the one on the right hand and the other on the left in thy kingdom look at what jesus answered but jesus answered and said you know not what you ask are you able to drink of the cup that i shall drink of and to be baptized with the baptism that i'm baptized with they say unto him we are able Eh? look at the next verse and he said unto them you shall drink indeed of my cup and be baptized with the baptism that i'm baptized with but to sit on my right hand and on my left is not mine to give but it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared of my father then look at the next thing jesus now reveals the government of heaven and when the ten heard it they were moved with indignation against the two brethren but jesus called them unto him and said you know that the princes He's now giving us a difference between submission and subjection. You know that the princes of the Gentiles exercise dominion over them. And they that are great exercise authority upon them. But it shall not be so among you. But whosoever will be great among you, let him be your minister. And whosoever will be chief among you let him be your servant the difference between the kingdom of god and secular government in the secular government they rule over you their government is different from god's government in god's government the one that will be great among you will have to kneel down and serve you in the secular they will tell you sanitation on saturday now by force make i do sanitation now by force does government have to tell me to sweep my house government will say sanitation on saturday stay at home and sweep your house then as they say it they will put tax force what is tax force for to subject you to that instruction government does not allow you your will in matters they force you it's like witchcraft is the government of the world and that cannot be the government of god jesus saying the government of god the chief shall be servant the greatest shall be the smallest but in the government of this world they lord it over you they compel you to do things is it true is it true 
the governor is coming and then you are driving your car ma like majestically on the road after siren is blowing you didn't park you will just receive koboko from your back the way they will wipe you you will have accident with your car and they will not answer you that's the government of this world they will they will they will run you into the bush you go and have accident they won't answer you they are gone they tell you broke protocol are you not afraid you were the one that voted them you turn printed for them to be governor but they, they they handle you anyhow because the government of this world that's the way it is designed to function are you hearing me now election will come they will pay you and when they pay you they drive you and declare result and you can do nothing about it even if you fast you will just have ulcer for nothing that is how the government of this world is designed to function there is no fairness it's a lordship system it's just for you to understand how they run it and just behave yourself no prayer can change it no prayer jesus didn't say he, he didn't say when you pray they will not load over you say no that is the way they behave oh. uh, but in the kingdom we don't behave like that this is the way we behave they use force they subject you they compel you against your will to accept what they want are you with me here that's why in a state election will happen nobody vote but they will announce governor whether you like him or not you have to behave if you talk too much you will arrest you and nobody can bring you out they will lock you in prison for 30 years nobody will come out you it's the government of this world and that government cannot be the government of christ no it will never be and that is how it is designed to be there's no justice and fairness in it because it's not a government of righteousness only jesus has the government of righteousness glory to god why am i saying this so you understand how it works some say i'm going to go for election god told me i will win god told you god doesn't get involved with those things god doesn't if god gets involved with governance the kind of election results that are announced in this country will not be announced you are not hearing me it's man-made operation what is it called yeah it's not god okay let me show you something and i'll close are you blessed are you learning something let me show you something the book of first samuel 8 5 and said unto him behold thou art old and thy sons walk not in thy ways now make us a king to judge us like all the nations this is israel talking to samuel but the thing displeased samuel when they said give us a king to judge us and samuel prayed unto the lord and the lord said unto samuel hearken unto the voice of the people in all that they say unto thee for they have not rejected thee but they have rejected me that i should not reign over them according to all the works which they have done since the day that i brought them up out of egypt up even unto this day wherewith they have forsaken me and served other gods so they also unto thee now therefore hearken unto their voice how be it yet protest solemnly unto them and show them the manner of the king that shall reign over them and samuel told all the words of the lord unto the people that asked of him a king and he said this will be the manner of the king that you, that shall reign over you since you people want to rule yourself this is how human government will be like he will take your sons and appoint them for himself for his chariots and to be his horsemen and some shall run before his chariot it is called pilot and escort <laughs> you're not hearing me it is called pilot and ask god that's why sometimes when the governor is coming you will see a man stupid man with five children in the house carry one leg on top of the machine i'm ready to die i'm ready to die he will even sit on top and spread his leg and anything can kill that man that is human government they will carry your children and make them pilots and escorts 55 ssa to the governor 300 uh, pas to the governor that is human government he said i want to rule them but they don't want my government so let them have human government and this is how human government will function
God told them clearly that this thing is not uh, spiritualizing. It is clearly written in the scriptures. Look at the next thing he said. And he will appoint him captain over thousands and captains over fifties. And will set them to, to ear his ground. And to reap his harvest. And to make his instruments of war. And instruments of his chariot. And he will take your daughters to be confectionaries. And to be cooks. And to be bakers. And he will take your fields and your vineyard and your olivia even the best of them and give them to his servants and he will take the tent of your seed and of your vineyard and give to his officers and to his servants and he will take your men servants and your maid servants and your godliest young men and your asses and put them to his work and he will take the tent of your sheep and you shall be his servants and you shall cry out in that day because of your king which you shall have chosen you and the lord will not hear you in that day it is called democracy God said, I don't have a hand in democracy. Don't even pray because I will not answer. Did you see that? I will not answer. So when people are saying, let's pray. Now they have cheated us in this election. Hey, come on, higher. You are praying to yourself. God is not there. God has told you clearly in the scriptures. I'm not a part of this human government. You people are setting up. So anything you get out of it, you look for it. It's man-made. And there can never be justice. So I don't like our governor. He's busy giving all the jobs to the people in this village. Didn't you see it? Didn't he tell you that's what will happen? Which governor doesn't do it? Our governor eats money. Is there any governor that doesn't eat money? There's no. All of them eat it. Because that's human government. If they like your property, they just come and mark it red. <laughs> Before you are talking, they have pulled it down. They give you compensation. How much did you do it? 20 million. Take 5 million. Get out. If you talk too much, you collect it back. You just say, I'm sorry. You carry it. That's government for you. Somebody says, it's not fair. There's no fairness in this thing. It's man-made. I'm teaching here. And I'm solving issues here. And I'm answering questions here. That's why that a man of God come and do. Boo, 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 boo. God say you'll be governor. It's a lie. God doesn't get involved in these things. Leave it. Leave that thing. Leave that thing. It's people that are not taught that fall for those for those uh, for those suit sayings didn't you see earlier they said they made caricature of many men of god in this country they list them up and put their prophecy and put out the prophecy didn't work and line them up and then at the end they quoted that verse and say any prophet that said does says the lord and it doesn't come to pass don't fear him they put it there and they put their pictures because see we are men of god we have no business prophesying over politicians no that's not our calling our calling is to perfect you to strengthen you to teach you so you can mature mature in christ and if you have any secular conviction we wish you well go there and do your best somebody said they're rigging election no government that doesn't include in america that's the way the system work it is survival did you hear so if you are thinking of politics start thinking of contending as a survival so if they are stealing ballot paper box steal your own that's the way the system works so if all of all he means all of us are thieves still i still still i still the one that still pass becomes governor <laughs> maybe so <laughs> You even go to tribunal, tribunal will throw you out with all your credentials because it's a system of imperfection run by imperfect people and ends with imperfect people. Some say, but I prayed and fasted. Shut up, leave that thing. If you really prayed well, you wouldn't have been praying for that kind of thing. There are things to pray for. If you come to me and say you want to be governor, I tell you, I wish you well. God bless you because I don't know what you have set on ground. But you will be a fool if you didn't set anything and come and say the Lord shall be governor. You will be a fool because government doesn't happen overnight. You must have a structure that spans across all the pulling boots with young men and foot soldiers that are ready to die for you because the thing people must be ready to die. If you don't have that kind of thing, just stay in your corner, look for one small business, and be happy with Jesus. Then when they finish their lecture, you, you apply for jobs. They give you, you do, and collect your money, and come to church. Give us for kingdom assignment, and enjoy your life. Live long, and let us serve God. <laughs> I feel like I'm preaching right now. If you're hearing me shout, I hear you. 
because look let me tell you at the end of the day this government this government can get angry with you and arrest you and lock you up for nothing and you'll be in prison your wife and children are suffering not because of one stupid decision you made some say can't we pray if we can pray we will have stopped persecution if there is such a thing we will have stopped persecution why can't the church stop persecution because persecution comes from an organized system called government that's where persecution comes from persecution of the church is usually through government mostly the people that arrested honey look at this paul Pete, paul and silas entered a town and met a girl that was operating evil spirit then they commanded the spirit come out and the people in the city went to the magistrate and the magistrate ordered that paul and silas should be locked up in prison for casting out a spirit organized government arresting a man and putting him in prison for casting out devils from a girl and these guys were in prison and they were to be executed then they prayed they didn't pray for the people to die they prayed for escape because you can't kill the people because that is a government the, and governments are supposed to organize your society and make sure there is civility and order finish so that there's no opera so that at least people still live in peace so they prayed god did he answer the prayer then they started praising god and celebrating their victory then the angels came into the place and released them and told them oh yeah, oh yeah. escape for your life they didn't destroy the government they only gave them escape i'm teaching here so that you know how to stand in society and know how to believe god for things and know how to get the things that are yours without praying prayers that are just a waste of time are you blessed